Dan Challengers. This is Destiny. And Fitzel with your weekly video broadcast. Today is Monday, May 10th. We have had a few busy weeks at Suzanne. Our 7th grade students experienced Ren Fair last week, and our 6th and 7th graders began selecting their enrichment courses for next year. Our 8th graders took promotion photos and picked up their supplies for the blue and white tea today, which is a Suzanne Middle School tradition. 8th graders, please keep an eye on Challenger Chat as we are getting updates on the time as they relate to 8th grade promotion. More information to come. This week marks the start of ASB elections. Today, you will see the ASB election commercials that the running officers put together for you. On Thursday and Friday, in your PE classes, you will watch the ASB speeches and vote for next year's officers. My fellow Suzanne Middle Schoolers, being cooped up inside has been hard on us all. But soon we will be returning to school. And when we do, we will need somebody to lead us back. I believe I am that person. What, if you elect me as Suzanne Middle School President, I will try my best to make the transition as easy as it can be on us all. But remember, the choice is yours. ASB Secretary elections are up. I don't even know who to vote for. Vote Allison K for your 2021 to 2022 Secretary and I'll give you Mental health events, fun activities, improvements to Suzanne, United Student Body, and even more. So vote for Allison K for your 2021 to 2022 secretary if you want a fun, cool, and radical school year. Hey challengers, it's Ava B. I'm running for ASB secretary. My friends and family describe me as responsible, respectful, caring, understanding, funny, smart, and an achiever. I hope to show my personality and leadership in this position. My leadership background is two years of Bayer student leadership and one year as the representative of my school for district leadership will help me organize events and bring more challenger pride. Vote for me, I'm Ava P, as your ASB secretary. For the first time in Suzanne history, we were forced to be isolated, to attend school at home. But it's not over yet. We need a leader. A leader not only to face the challenges of what's coming, but to bring back our school spirit. Vote Jason P for Vice President. Stuck inside for the past year. Too much to eat, too much social media, not enough exercise, missing out on family vacations, no friends or family, having to always wear a mask, and tired of Zooming. I have just the thing for you, Soraya Q, the medication for a bright 2021-2022 school year. Used to be worried about my 2021-2022 school year, but because I voted for Soraya Q, I'm not worried anymore. I voted for Soraya Q for the past two years and haven't worried since. I was new to Suzanne and I didn't know what to expect, but with Soraya Q, I see a brighter future. Hi, I'm Soraya Q and voting for me is healthy for you. Don't forget to vote Soraya Q for Vice President. Possible side effects include, but not limited to, happier school year, awesome Suzanne spirit, bright future, worry-free days, and noon time for activities. You will witness leadership, responsibility, acceptance, inclusion, enthusiasm, and encouragement. Do not take Su Soraya Q if you have had a history of being a bully, being a hater, and do not love Suzanne. You must speak to your counselor if you suffer from these conditions that they may have serious consequences. Ask your friends to join you in voting Soraya Q for Vice President of Suzanne Middle School. Hi, do you want a fun vice president who can bring back Suzanne's school spirit? Then vote me, Malia McBride, be 2021 through 2022 vice president. Thank you for listening. I wish I had something to do in quarantine. Let's see if Joshua has anything to do. Things to do in quarantine. The first thing you could do is go on a walk and enjoy the sunlight. The another thing that you could do is play with the pet. I've been at Suzanne for three years now, but I still can't seem to guess that staff member. 
Let's see if I can get it this time. I wonder what's cooking up for us this week. Hi guys, I'm doing, and I'm gonna make a moody. Today we're using banana, gobbly, yogurt, milk, and sugar. You can use a banana or, or gobbly, or you can use both. And then we're gonna be jamming the, putting the banana in. I done making all the milk. Now we need fender. Now we're going to put the moody in the fender. Now you need to pour in the cup. More or no? Mm, that was good. Like ready for baseball now. Time to expand our vocabulary with word of the week. Ataraxy, a state of serene calmness. Um, so I think the word means like maybe a disease or a sickness. I'm not really sure. I think the word means like something like doctor related, like maybe like a doctor, like a tool or something. I think that ataraxy sounds like a doctor's term. So I feel like it might be something that they give to help calm down or like make their patients less stressed. Can you guess this week's celebrity? I think I can. The COVID situation has been getting better every day. Let's see the numbers. week's quote came from Oscar Wilde. Erickson, Quintero, Yujita, and St. Amant's homerooms were able to get it right. Let's see who can get this week's. will be able to guess this week's TV show slash movie. You strike me as a particularly icy and remorseless man. Respect. Such a simple concept everyone knows but doesn't seem to understand. We preach to others to be kind and respectful, but we frown upon those who are different from us. So let's take a step back. What is respect? By definition, respect is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. For example, I greatly respect teachers, especially ones teaching in middle school, for putting up with us arrogant hormonal brats every day and not getting nearly enough pay as they should. Like, huge props. But that's not exactly the respect I meant. According to this dictionary, respect could also mean due regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. That means treating other people with kindness and politeness, even if they are different from you, even if you don't agree with their decisions and beliefs. Back to the teacher thing. I hate homework with every, f every fiber of my being, but teachers hand it out anyway. So when you guys give me super long and boring assignments that require me to actually use my brain, I will think some unpleasant and resentful things about you. But it, you're a teacher, and I'm just a lazy kid. 
So if you think pumping us with seemingly useless and unimportant facts will help us succeed in life, then I respect that. But afterwards, I'll be throwing darts at pictures of your face on my wall. (laughs) In all seriousness, though, we just need to treat people with more respect and dignity. I don't have to agree with you or even like you, but I will acknowledge you're just trying to get through life the best you can like the rest of us. And we can just agree to disagree. You know, as long as you're not being hateful and disrespectful, I think I can stay in my lane and you in yours. Just be a good person and respect others. It's not that hard. Last week, 7th graders participated in an annual renaissance fair. It didn't look very different this year, but students got to participate in activities about the medieval times. Do puzzles, escape rooms, dances, make avatars, go to virtual tours, and more. We hope you enjoyed the activities. Congratulations, challengers, for representing our school in the prestigious Southern California School Band and Orchestra Association Virtual Honor Concert. We are so proud of the commitment these students made to persevere through uncharted times and maintain a passion for an education rich in music. be having library hours for students to come check out books on Wednesdays. Library books should be returned before the last week of school and can be dropped off in the front office. Walnut High School will be offering tours for incoming freshmen from May 10th through May 14th. You can sign up for a time slot between 1 o'clock and 3.30 on those dates. Our students will be showing the schools in small groups so they socially distance. See the challenger chat for the link. Spots are limited. We will be hosting yearbook signing events at the end of the school year. 8th grade yearbook signing day will be on May 24th, 7th grade day will be on May 25th, and 6th grade yearbook signing day will be on May 26th. More details are to follow soon. Yearbooks are still available for purchase at compe.pictavo.com. Last and probably most important announcements. has been destiny and pitzel with your weekly video broadcast have a fantastic week challengers